hey guys uh, welcome back to another video welcome back to learn in a nutshell so in the last video we are talking about adn let's uh, continue with that so last uh, la in the last video we created one payment one dummy payment so each time you create a payment it was creating a unique psp reference and it was returning back with the result code authorized and also the amount so same thing will continue today so today let's see how to you know uh, try a refund how to refund a certain amount let's see that so if you want to know the details about all those things uh, what you can do is um, uh, you can click on checkout in the top if you see this checkout config client these are the things they are extracting from this adn api library so let's ex uh, let's click on control and click on this and then you'll see all the options available here so there is something called as modification this is what we want for refund uh, if you click on modification by you know pressing control uh, it will take us here and show us the methods available so there is a uh, refunds method available here so let's use this in our code uh, so what you have to do is instead of checkout api uh, we'll also call modifications here so once we call that let's add it here as well and pass the client and uh, let's see what are the details required for refund so if you go to you know this particular doc and look for refund and modify payment you will see uh, the required uh, parameter one is merchant account other one is amount and the last one is the reference which we used for the original uh, you know payment that was the order number which we used so let's try uh, you know uh, to refund one payment uh, let's try for this psv reference so let's try passing this so we don't need all these things we'll comment comment for now and uh, let's pass reference merchant account and the last thing required is amount that also we are passing so let's comment these things also and the endpoint is not payments uh, so if you see here there is a refunds method which you have to call so let's call refunds here uh, let's try without commenting let's see if, if it th throws any error so it says um, the first argument must be of type string so if you go to refunds uh, it will say that the first argument should be string and the second argument should be the actual body so if you see in this url also uh, we are passing uh, we call in the payments endpoint and then we are passing the original psp reference which you uh, know which we received for the original payment and the refunds will be called the same way we have to pass the original payment reference id here in our case uh, we have to pass this one this was the original payment uh, reference psp reference which which was you know uh, which we received so let's copy this copy it let's put it here and put a comma and then we have to pass of this type uh, it's a payment uh, refund request so in that we'll have to pass all this uh, body structure body uh, variables merchant account amount and reference so merchant account reference and amount references original uh, order detail order uh, number which we paid or uh, which we gave uh, so this was a merchant reference which we gave for the original payment so we'll have to use the same one so let's try this let's uh, we try without commenting and let's see if, if it throws any error so it says uh, these are all not uh, uh, unknown fields so we'll have to comment this so it does throw the error so let me comment this also so these are all the required field amount reference and merchant account still i guess it will not work uh, i'll say you why it says field amount is not valid 
so it's not valid because it's passing a value zero so we'll have to pass the amount which is you know which we have to refund so let's try for 12 uh, so when we click on this it won't instantaneously you know uh, do the refund and do the capturing and all uh, it will just receive a message like with the status called received so what it does in the background is um, uh, it will process uh, the payment it will confirm the payment original payment uh, with the help of PSP reference uh, it will uh, check the amount that is required whether it is greater it will do all the internal work so once that is confirmed it will do the refund once the refund is successful it is captured captured when i say uh, it is uh, you know refunded back to the customer and deducted from uh, shopper's account then um, no then it triggers a um, uh, event uh, in uh, using the webhook so we'll have to create a webhook uh, so that you know the original uh, e-commerce website receives this notification and they can update in their db so uh, that webhook can be created uh, here if you go here there is a webhook option you'll have to click on webhook and uh, you can provide the details whether a standard notification or uh, uh, what uh, what is the type of webhook we are you know, supposed to create i'll just create a standard notification once you do that uh, we'll have to provide uh, the events if you see here uh, by default all the events are selected uh, so show search it is not showing but there is something called as refund cancel or refund so whenever this event is triggered the notification will be sent to the url which we specify uh, here in the server configuration and uh, if there is any authentication that will also be used in this way uh, you know whenever uh, adn uh, does the actual refund when the shopper's account is you know uh, deducted with that amount and when the customer is uh, receives that amount it sends a notification so that's how it works but currently it will just receive the status as received and uh, you know uh, it now you can you know initiate initiate the refund in this way so in the same manner you can you know uh, you know play around with the other endpoints also there is a recurring endpoint uh, recurring endpoint uh, there won't be much option this is for listing if you want to disable um, these are all the different methods available so about recurring i'll just create a quick video again in the next uh, next video might be about recurring so you can watch that that's a simple video because in the test account they don't fully support recurring i believe i'm not sure because when i tested it was not working I'll just show you that in the next video and um, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, uh, please do hit the like button, share with your friends. If you have any questions or queries or any feedback, if you want to provide, put it in the comment section and uh, you know, please do subscribe. It means a lot. So let's catch again in the next video, guys. Thank you so much.